to the question we started earlier. This is the part two of the question. Here we'll be looking at the creation of style sheets. The last time we created the HTML content of the web page, then uh, which is a content layer, then we were able to attach the style sheet that was given in the question, which is number eleven. We attached the style sheet m 2 styles to the web page, and we can see the preview of that in this uh, browser. You can see the preview. This is what we did the last time. So we can continue from here. Number 12, create a new style sheet so that the table is center aligned within the browser window. Now, the, what we attached the other time was a style sheet given. Now we are creating a new style sheet. So we go to expression web. So this is the code view. If we like, we can go to the split view or design view as the case may be. So I prefer to be on the a split view for now so to create the style sheet since it's a new file entirely we come to file come to new and we go and pick css file please do not make this mistake this is a css file so you click on this you have this untitled css file the question again says that we should create a new style sheet so that the table is center aligned so the structure of css is very simple it's actually um selector open curly bracket property colon value so for us to do that we come to format then we go to new styles what is the selector don't forget i said the structure is selector look at selector here so you open it and pick a selector the common selectors you will see except the selector you want to create for yourself in this question it is table so we pick table now since we have picked table then we go to the next now look look at the categories we have we have fonts if you want to specify uh attribute of fonts block background border border radius box position layout so these are the common categories we can see and if you look at the preview the preview of whatever you are doing is here and the description is in this box on that description so in this case since i have picked table then i want to set uh, uh the alignment then i will need to you know come through this and pick the one that is relevant to what i want to do then i will see the alignment alignment is talking about the merging so i will see it on that box then you come here if you let this be checked to be same for all that means it's going to affect both the top right bottom left but in this case the question is asking us to do for right and left how did i know because the question says that the table is center aligned within the browser window so that means it's going to affect the left and the right so we have some space at the right some space at the left of the window all right so i come back to this so i i un uncheck this then i come to right under margin look at it then i'll pick auto now look at the description this is what will be given to me margin right auto then i come also to the left then i pick auto if a particular value had been given, you just come to value and type the value in PX. You can see it or any other dimension. But in this case, I'm going to make use of auto because that is what the question is saying. So look at the description. So the CSS description will be margin right colon auto semicolon margin left colon auto. Then I say apply. So I've done that. You will see that is created for me. You can see that right here. Then the next instruction is simple. The question says all table cells have padding set to 10 pixels. That means the cell padding is set to 10 pixels. So let's really get that done. So I come here, cell padding. So that means another style. So I can come here and say format new style cell padding. If you are doing anything that, uh, that will affect cell padding, you know the cell in CSS is TD or in HTML is TD. So let's see how we get that done. So since we know it is a uh, TD for uh, cell padding, so we come to format insert new cell. So under selector, go to TD, TD, okay, um, TD. All right. Then we come to box. All right. Look at padding since cell padding is going to affect all that's why this will be left like this so we say um padding will be 10 pixel 
So you see that everything is 10, 10 pixels because it's the same for all. Since the question did not specify whether top, right, bottom, or left, so we let it be on same for all. Then we say apply. Look at the description. This is the description writing here. Then you say okay. You can see it here. That is also done. So the next instruction is simple. All table elements have the spaces between the borders set to 10 pixels. This is all table elements. So we are going to set this under table. So we go again under table. So since we already have a table tag, although we can declare another table, but since we have another a, an already made table tag, we'll just do it in the same uh, stuff. Then we go to insert, I mean format, new, and then let's, let's check the instruction again. Okay, table elements have the spaces between the borders. So since we have that, we can have it because table is already here there's no point specifying table so we go to um border spacing border spacing so just type b then you see the option from b border spacing border spacing and then the question says it should be set to um 10 pixels so we pick 10 pixel for that 10 pixel okay then the next one let's look at the other instruction the question says the top margin above the table so this is still within the table so the top margin above the table is set to 173 pixels 173 pixels so we go 173 the top um, margin okay that'll be uh, let's check again the top margin the top margin you can see that the top margin so we go and do that top margin that is m margin top but the value is given to us let's see again to be sure uh, the top margin above the table is set to 173 pixels 173 pixel so 173 pixel okay we have that everything is within the table tag you can see it everything is with, within the table tag because all these affect the table but this one affects the cell that's why we put it on that cd so what's the next instruction let's see okay your name center number and candidate number are set as a comment at the end of the style sheets so to put the comment at the end of the style sheet this is the whole of the style sheet so you just bring your cursor all right yeah to type a uh, comment in css you the tag is you type it within forward slash star then star forward slash you see it is always in green color like this then you can type your name your center number in my case center number 001 and then my candidate number is 0001 so i have it you realize that this is typed within the uh opening tag and closing of comment which is this you can see that it's very important if you fail to close it then everything will be affected please take note of that having done this was the next instruction so the next instruction is make sure that your style sheet contains no html or scripting language we have seen that no html there's no angle brackets here so it is correct then the next instruction says save this style sheet in your m22 html folder in cascading style sheet format as m22 styles 2 m22 styles 2 underscore your center number and candidate number m22 so i come here file then i save as then i save it in my folder m22 then i call it uh, m22 styles 2 underscore my center number and candidate number dot css very important and you click on save so we have that then the next instruction says attach this style sheet to your web page so that it has higher priority than the one attached in step 11. remember in step 11 we attached a style a style sheets m22 styles.css and that is why the preview of our browser looks like this that affected the 
a background uh, image, uh, the font color, the font type, and everything, the border line, the border color, so you can see that. But now we want to attach the new style we just created. So this is the new style, M22 styles. This. So to attach this, you come to your uh, HTML code in, within the header section. Remember, I told you earlier that this is the HTML tag that attached the four star sheet. So for us to attach the second one, we just bring our cursor here and go to our format, CSS styles, attach style sheets, then browse it from it. Then you go to M22. This is the folder we are working in and pick the new style sheet. Then click open and let it be on link then you say okay you can realize that the second style sheet that we attached is now in the second line okay in the second line out of the two style sheets we attached so this is how to make it have higher priority so the one in this line will have higher priority higher priority than the one uh, on, on top here so please take note of that if you save this now and preview you will see save let's go to the browser window let's preview oh good you can see that so that means the table has moved from the left alignment position to the center that is what we did you can see that so if you look at the instruction everything we have done had uh, happened to the web page uh, our table can you see the cell padding to 10 pixels you, we see that all table elements have the spaces between the border the top margin above the table is set to 173 pixels so you will see that you can see that look at the margin distance 173 pixels that we set and this has been sent to the center you can see that okay good then the next instruction is very simple take a screenshot to show the file name and all content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document take a screenshot so to take the screenshot of the style sheet so you go to the style sheet now you take the screenshots just like this okay good when you want to take it make sure the name of the style sheet is showing which is this so everything is showing you can take it this way all right good then you paste it in your evidence document you realize that okay in the evidence document okay evidence two you see then you have it so in the evidence document the name of the style sheet must be seen and every tag you have used within the style sheet then the next one is um so all this will earn you eight marks this okay number 13 save your web page take a copy of your html source and place this in your evidence document a copy of your HTML source so you save the web page to save the web page we come here in the web page we make sure we come to file we click on save we have that and then the next thing to do is take a copy of your HTML source HTML source a copy so this is your HTML source all this code this is your CSS source you can see the difference but the question says take a copy so to take a copy click here in the uh, code of your html then you you select all you select all edit select all everything is selected then you come to edit copy after you have copied come to the evidence document instruction says this is evidence three evidence three then you have it there evidence three then you paste it the code you have copied then you paste it you can see all the code please after you have copied the code you are not meant to edit anything here so that you don't scatter your work evidence 3 please is very important so you have it this way then the next instruction is simple the next instruction display your web page in the browser if necessary resize it so that all the page can be seen all text can be easily read the address bar is visible then you take screenshot evidence showing your web page in the browser screenshot evidence so you come here then if it is bigger than your screen part time you can resize it the instruction allows you that you can resize it such that you'll be able to pick everything if it is possible to pick everything at once 
you should pick it and if you need to take it like twice or so you can do that such that everything is clearly visible so for me i will, I will advise you to make it like this 100 percent so that you can take it so when you have it then you take the screenshot screenshot um, of this okay screenshot of this from the address bar you pick it screenshot of this that's that then you come to the evidence document and you paste evidence document that should be evidence for right now evidence for evidence for then okay good then you paste then you remember that you have other part of it that you have not copied from here so you can can take the screenshot like this screenshot of the other part and then you have it this way good make sure that everything is copied all right then i have it and i can come here and paste it so this is a continuation if i want to remove the space there i can change the uh the uh, the borderline that is after okay good so that it will be okay but that line that is after to zero and i change the line spacing to single okay good now can you see it's very close to each other so you you probably see it as one you can see that so i have this then the next instruction is simple let me go to the next instruction the next instruction is screenshot evidence of your web page in the browser with the table content and background element clearly visible so i have this done so then i realize that that is the end of the question so this is a 30 you see this 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 is a 36 mark question and that's what we have just done so if you go back you realize that this is what you have done very simple you can score all the marks allotted to each line of instruction it is clearly simple and that's what you have done now so if you have any questions please you can put it in the comment box or you uh, you send it via mail i will attend to it as fast as possible thank you so much